Hi, my name is Terry Sproul and I want to welcome you to my studio. Today we're going to do a couple different um, techniques using crystal lacquer and a really cool um, technique that I think you'll have a lot of fun with. You can use this technique in a variety of different ways in different projects. So come on down to my workspace and let's start playing. Well, we're down here in my workspace now and we're going to do that technique I want to show you. I got a piece of transparency sitting down here on my desk. I actually have two of them because I'm going to show you two different techniques. And I've started a little bit off camera of taking my stays on ink and a stamp, and actually two stamps, and I'm just randomly stamping on the front of this transparency just to give it some more dimension. So on the front of both of these I am using my stays on and I am randomly stamping this key image. Okay, that's good enough for government work as they say. Okay, now I'm going to turn this transparency over. Now when you go to purchase transparencies, you want to make sure you buy the one that is not, has any texture on it. Or actually you can even look for vinyl um, book covers. They work really great too. You'll find both of those in the office supply stores. Now I'm going to take a, on one of these, I'm going to take a couple reinkers in a couple different colors. And remember that your reinkers, you don't need a lot of color because the, con the color is very concentrated. So I actually picked three colors here and these are a dye based ink. You can use just about any type of ink. I haven't tried them all, but I haven't found one that hasn't worked yet. So experiment, have fun, see what you come up with. So I'm basically putting some drops of reinker onto my transparency to give it some color. Next thing I'm going to do is take my large bottle of crystal lacquer. Now if you don't like to get your hands dirty or inky, put a pair of gloves on at this point because we're going to about ready to get really messy. And I'm just going to pour, as you see, the crystal lacquer. This is the clear crystal lacquer directly onto my sheet. And let it kind of spread out a little bit. While it's spreading out, I'm going to grab, you can use two different things, um, some tissue paper. And actually this time I have some of the, the old um, patterns from making clothes. Or, you know, some people actually still do that, but I'm not a sewer. But anyways, I'm wrinkling it up. And this is where you're going to get messy. You're going to actually take this and put it directly into that, that, into that, all that ink and stuff. And this is what, why I was saying you're going to get messy. It's because at this point you kind of want to move that ink around and kind of have it melt in with all that crystal lacquer. So your fingers are going to get inky. Keep moving it around. Get it to where you like it. You can turn it over and kind of look at it and see where it's going. You know, see if you're getting the texture you're looking for. But be careful because you are working with tissue paper, so the tissue paper will rip. So be really careful that you don't rip it, but at the same time get that moving around done. Okay, so when you're done, and this gets a chance to dry, you can, at that point, die cut it. This actually, I die cut it. Isn't that cool? You can use it in your altered books. You could, I um, hope you can see how translucent that is. Take a white piece of paper and put it under it. See how translucent that is? Isn't that cool? You can, I actually made a mobile with these. I could put a little hole in it and hang, hung them. It, this looks really cool. Okay, anyways, back over to this other one. Now again, we're working on the back side of it. Instead of using reinkers this time, this time I'm using my uh, colored crystal lacquers. Now I am using the ones that are what I would call the clear ones, not the um, pearls. And I'm just going to literally, I open up the whole lid and I just dump it on there. And I've got three or four colors. A real good hint um, is keeping your crystal lacquers upside down so that it flows a little easier. So, a couple more colors on here because I want it to all be really cool. 
And this you can experiment with the colors you want to use or how much you want to use. You know, just have fun. This is like a fun technique. Okay, there we go. Now, again, I'm going to take my large bottle of clear crystal lacquer and I'm going to again doing the same technique I did before, literally pour it onto the back of there. Kind of letting it spread out there. While it's spreading out, I'm going to grab, again, I'm just going to grab my tissue, the, the uh, patterns that I had. But again, if you had tissue paper, whatever you have will work. I like texture, so I'm wrinkling mine up. And again, you're going to get messy here, so if you don't like your hands getting messy, put your gloves on. Start pushing it in. Getting, mixing it around. Kind of smearing those colors together so they almost... I don't want to say become one because you don't want it to muddy up, but you want it to, you know, become really cool. I am working on a Teflon sheet down here, so you might want to think about that also because you don't want your table to get ruined while this dries. You could also, right before I put the tissue paper, which I didn't think about it, you can actually go in with um, some glitter or any of that kind of stuff and sprinkle it in there too and give you a totally different look. So see how that's turning out really cool? I do have one that's dry sitting right here somewhere. Where did it go? How embarrassing. It really is right here on my desk. I just had it. Oh, there it is. Can't find anything on my desk. This one, I didn't use as dark colors as I did on this one. And this really gave me a really light look. So kind of want think about what you want to do with it and see how you're still getting that translucentness. Isn't that cool? See how translucent that is? I love it. Have fun. Show me what you do. Thanks for stopping by my studio. Okay, to do this technique, you're going to need to have a Teflon sheet. I have a smaller one here and clear um, um, crystal lacquers. And I just take my lid off my clear crystal lacquers and I literally pour them directly on to my Teflon sheet. So I got a few different colors going down here. And then I'm going to take clear crystal lacquer and pour it into the colors I just put onto that Teflon sheet. Now you're going to take your Teflon sheet and you're just going to start moving it. And that's going to spread all those colors together, kind of melt them together, but you don't want to the muddy them. so. Kind of pay attention to how you're doing it. And you're kind of making a thin skin. That's why I call this a skin technique. Get it all spread out like that. And every one's going to be different. You're not going to get two that are even going to come close to looking the same, even if you use the same colors. It's just how they move and how they mix together and so you really just got to kind of let it do its thing. Now I will let that set and dry for a while and I will end up with something that looks like this. This one I used two shades of blue and a green and the same clear on top and let it dry. And it kind of gives me this really cool, um, I don't know, sea look I think. I think I'm going to use it in a project similar to that. But look how cool it is. So I hope you enjoy this technique. Can't wait to see what you do with it.